So you have $150 in your pocket. You're looking to pick up a small amp to play metal with, and you're looking at the Orange Crush 20 and the Fender Champion 20. So what do you do? Hey, I'm Derek at 5 Minute Music, and I have over 25 years experience playing the electric guitar, teaching students how to play, teaching students how to use their amps, doing some recording studio work, some live mixing, and I'm excited to help you figure this out. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a quick review of both of these amps. I want to demo both of these amps, and all along the way, I want to give you pros and cons for each amp to help you decide. So let's start with the review. These are both 20 watt amps, same level of power. They both have eight inch speakers. The Orange Crush has the Voice of the World speaker. It's a speaker that you'll find in some of their higher end amps as well. Whereas the Fender has the, uh, what they call it, like a special speaker that they've made for this amp that is good at lower volumes. So they both have similar speakers, although I think, quick pro, I think I like the Orange Crush 20's Voice of the World speaker better. One of the main differences is the Fender Champion 20 has effects. So if you want to do a guitar solo and add some sounds to it, you know, some reverb, delay, the Fender Champion 20 is going to be the amp for you. The Orange Crush 20 has no effects, but the Orange Crush 20 has two channels. So if you're going to jam with some friends of yours and you want to go easily between clean and dirty, that's a big pro for the Orange Crush 20. So I want to demo these for you and I want to let you hear. I'm going to start with the Orange Crush 20 and I'm going to talk you through this. The EQ on this also is a pro for the Orange. The Orange has a treble, middle, and bass EQ, whereas the Fender Champion 20 just has the treble and bass. I personally, for metal, like to turn my mids down a little bit and scoop them for a more modern tone. The Orange Crush 20 easily allows you to do that. Let me play it for you. <laughs> So I like having the mid not mod there because I turn the mids down to get that more scoop sound, but you can give yourself a little bit different flavor by upping the mids. Check this out. So I definitely like having the mids knob where I can scoop it more or boost it to get a different flavor. What I've also found about the Orange Crush 20 is you don't have to turn it up loud for it to open up. You don't have to get up to four or five or six. At a low volume, it's opened up. So check this out. Oh, by the way, all the settings will be below that I'm using in the description section. So here's the volume at one. Here's the volume at two. Here's the volume at three. Here's the volume at four. Here's the volume at five. So at lower volumes, by around three, it's opened up and it just gets louder from three to four to five and it doesn't really change the sound. So at a lower volume, you get a good sound and you notice when I turn up the five and sort of kind of really trying to beat on it a little bit, the speaker held up. It, it sounded like it was still giving you a good tone. And that's going to be an important pro because I'm going to talk about the Fender Champion 20 now. Now we get to the Fender Champion 20. This is a great little amp too. It's different than Orange Crush 20. One of the pros of the Fender Champion 20 is it does have effects. So if you want to do a guitar solo, a lot of reverb, some delay on it, you can do that but you can't do that on the Orange Crush 20. So that's a con for this amp and a pro for this amp. Now, let me give you a quick con on the Fender Champion 20. It takes a little bit for the amp to open up. Check this out. I'm gonna put the volume on one. I'm gonna go one and two and so forth. So here's one. Now let's go to two. Now we're going to go to three, and that's where the amp really starts to open up. Now, here's one thing that bothers me a little bit. So this is a con. When I get up to four, if I'm going to do palm muffling, the speaker gets a little bit woofy. Listen. Listen. 
It's not the worst in the world, but I definitely don't like it. So if I'm gonna play at three and just keep the volume at three, it sounds fantastic and there's a lot of variety. But if I get above that and wanna go louder, it starts to get a little bit woofy when you palm muffle. Another thing I like about the Fender Champion 20 is this voice knob. It allows you to go through and select different amp styles. You can go from old vintage tweed amps all the way up to modern metal amps. And it has three different flavors of metal amps. So I like that it has the variety. So let me demo this first sound for you. And remember, the settings will be below in the description. So that's a great metal sound. If you like that, just click like below. If you're enjoying the comparisons and getting value out of this, just let me know and click that like button. Now, I want to demonstrate for you what the voice knob can do. So that was the metal, you see the yellow, that's metal yellow. Check this out, I'm gonna go to metal red. Listen to the difference. So that gives you a different flavor. Now check this out, I'll go to metal green. So there's different flavors and I really like that. That's a good pro for this amp. Now, after hearing both of these amps and what they can do, the pros and the cons, if you would like to buy one of them, down in the description section below where it says buy now, just click there. I am an Amazon affiliate and at no extra charge to you, if you go there and buy an amp, I get a small commission. It's just one way I support this channel and I would greatly appreciate it. So they're having a deal on this one right now, $149.99 if you buy it in black and they throw in some cables and some goodies, it's a great deal and this is $129. Now, if you have any questions down in the comments below where it says question of the day, what else would you like to know about these amps? Or is there another amp in this price range you've stumbled on and you'd love for me to do a review of it? Please let me know. Also, if you wanna see more videos about these amps, I've got them. I did one where I did a deep dive where I compared the clean channels and some of the crunch sounds and the high gain sounds. If you wanna check out that video, click right there. If you wanna know more about using EQ in general, click right there. If you wanna know more about the EQ on the Fender Champion 20, click right there. And as always, click right here to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell. When you hit the bell, you'll get notifications when I do more reviews like this. As always, thank you for your time. God bless, have a great day.